Yo, what's up, Guardians? My name's D Flawless. Let's read this twab for October 7th, 2021, written by DMG, the newlywed. This week at Bungie, preparation for Festival of the Lost begin. Welcome back to another weekly installment of the TWAB. There's been quite a bit going on, hasn't there? We've got we've got tea time with Sabathun, trails to trek in the Shattered Realm, astrals to align in astral alignment. Bickroll and his horde of mini screebs also kicked off our seasonal offering of Grandmaster Nightfalls with the hallowed lair. Maybe you're simply looking for some sweet loot. Decoding Umbral Ingrams for the perfect double-double perk roll on the Stasis Fractis, fract however you say that shotgun, I call it Frack. If you took a couple weeks off, no better time to catch up. Outside of gameplay, we've also provided an update on our plans for the Destiny Content Vault. Haven't read it yet? Here are some of the bigger notes. The Tangled Shore, the Forsaken Campaign, and year four seasonal content will be entering the DCV in February 2022. Starting on December 7, the Forsaken campaign will be free to play until it enters the DCV. Some activities like the Dreaming City destination and Battlegrounds will be retained. Head over to the Destiny Content Vault update article for the full write-up. Looking back to Season of the Lost, we have some content on the horizon. Next week, there will be some challenge to embrace within the Shattered Realm. It may be dangerous to go alone, so you might want to call up a friend for some assistance. Festival of the Lost is also making its debut. While we don't have a full reveal just yet, we do have an awesome Ghost Shell preview below, accompanied with an interview with its artist. Let's get to it. All right, Festival of the Lost, introducing the Calavera Ghost Shell. Oh, I think I like this already. Kind of like a uh, like a Spanish theme. Next week, Festival of the Lost kicks off. This is time for Guardians to take a moment and reflect upon the past year, celebrating those we've lost as we continue to overcome each challenge that's been thrown our way. Many of the themes found within Festival of the Lost can be compared with those of holidays celebrated by many in our community. Dia de los Muertes. Let me know if I said that uh, satisfactorily, Day of the Dead. Diversity and representation is not only important in the world of Destiny 2, but throughout our real life community. And so we're excited to introduce the Calavera Ghost Shell. Concepted by an incredible artist, Bungie had the honor of collaborating with Luis Yepes. And here we have the Ghost Shell. It is sweet. I love, I love this Spanish design. Dia de los Muertes. Uh, let's take a moment to meet the mind behind this beautiful creation, shall we? Hi, Luis. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Of course, my name is Luis Miguel Yepes Franco, and I was born in Mexico City and spent my teenage years in Cancun before moving to the U.S. to learn 3D art and hopefully get to make games. I studied at the Art Institute of Phoenix before I got my first game job up here in rainy Seattle. I have been a gamer my whole life and always wanted to do something creative growing up so I figured making games could be my thing. And I have been doing that for at, for the last 16 years. I also love movies, most specifically sci-fi and horror movies. I prefer a rainy, cozy afternoon with movies, family, and games at my disposal as my go-to activity. How long have you been a Destiny player? Honestly, I don't remember, but I know I started playing during the alpha build of Destiny 1 on Xbox 360, so definitely a while. Back in the original Destiny 1 days, I would run a clan on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4 simultaneous. Friday and Saturday nights were raid nights, and I had them scheduled to help the crew on Xbox and then immediately jump onto the PS4 to do it again with another group. Needless to say, when someone wouldn't down Crota in the third try, Schedules got off track, not to mention a slightly off jump in Oryx Chamber. Oh, how fun those days. We can all relate to that, right? I spent so many hours playing that when Destiny 2 launched and all my legendary achievements were shown to me, it was a powerful moment acknowledging all that had happened until the point with my crew. I continue to be active, with Season of the Splicer being my most absent time from the game since I became a new parent. I still have some of my original Queen's gear from early D1, which I won't trash for sentimental value, no matter how much vault space I may need. And for all of you old timers, let me assure you, I was one of those who never got Gallarhorn to drop until a week before Xur sold it. So to all the guardians who suffered the same fate, you're not alone. Does that age me in the community? I sure hope it does. He is an OG for sure. You see that you're also a game artist. What type of art do you do? 
Luis. I used to be a full-time artist. Over the last seven years, I've switched over into doing more design. I do a lot of layout, pacing, and open world map designs where I get to use a lot of my skills and knowledge from my time being an artist just with a very different folk. On the side, I started working on what I call my Trixels series, a Day of the Dead inspired style where I model stylized animals and paint them similar to Alebrijes. Hope I said that right. Let me know in the comments if I said that right. I want to merge my background and Mexican roots with my present and what I do for a living since they seem so opposite of each other. And because that's ultimately who I have been shaped to be now. I give a lot of details and designs to the animals and hide some stories inside of them. Like my corgi has squirrels, tennis balls, paw prints, etc. It's all related to the animal I am making. The one common thread is a lot of color and skull. Those are the common themes in my design. You can check them out on IG. Go, we have a link to his IG. Go check that out in the 12. So how did the idea of creating a Dia de los Muertes goes shell for Festival of the Lost come about. It was very casual. I was approached by people at Bungie who are familiar with my Trixel series and was asked if I would be interested in contributing to Festival of the Lost with some of my design work. I don't think I hesitated at all. Of course I want to. From there it was super simple and smooth. Just drawing some ideas, calling out how the designs would be in the different looks, and going back and forth with the team on what would work the best with the theme and constraints of the game. Finally, we arrived at the design you see and will be able to get in game real soon let's take a look at this ghost shell so yeah you can see we have a lot of color a lot of skulls really showing off that heritage uh i really i really like this i can't wait to get this uh to get this gold kind of you see some of the inspirations here the embroidery gold metallic ghost plate and all that i hope to see more uh fancy more stylized ghost shells in the future trying to come up with the shapes colors and designs so they would read well on the body of the ghost even at a distance was a lot of fun and challenging at the same time the collaboration with everyone involved in this process was super smooth friendly and you could tell that they all care about destiny just as much as we the players i am super honored to be a longtime player that has now contributed in a unique way to the world of destiny and to the fight against the dark thank you for adding your voice to the world what are you looking forward to most in the witch queen i'm really looking forward to revealing the truth and finally taking the fight to the witch queen's doorstep no more hiding this time light will prevail and shine through at least i hope so that's just me jumping it's going to be super interesting to see how those how these two light sources battle it out and if all us guardians will prevail i'm almost certain we will <laughs> almost lol i am also looking forward to all the surprises bungie has in store that we don't even know about as is usual every season can't wait to gear up and fight the darkness alongside you. if you want to team up you can find me as yellowis on xbox and Yupiz on Steam. For more awesome works from Luis, be sure to visit his page. The Calavera Ghost Shell will become available when Festival of the Lost begins at 10 a.m. Pacific, October 12. Players will may acquire this directly for silver or acquire with bright dust in the spotlight. Here we go. What's in the patch notes? Alongside the Festival of the Lost, we'll be deploying Destiny to update 3.3.1. We have a collection of bug fixes and some quality of life items to deploy. Here's a quick preview of the goods. All right, let's go. We got Grandmaster Nightfalls. There's an increased drop rate for an adept nightfall weapon from a platinum Grandmaster Nightfall to 100%. Thank you. While this will not guarantee perfect perk combinations on every drop, players may now expect to receive an adept reward when overcoming the challenge of Grandmasters even on the hardest of weeks. Thank you so much, Bungie, for listening to the community on this. It's super deflating. Do a Grandmaster Nightfall and just get shards or, or whatever you get. The Corrupted. Reduce the knockback buff from the Sadia's Durance activity modifier on Nightfall difficulty from plus 40% knockback to plus 20% knockback, which may help a few of you complete Grandmaster difficult. Remove an unstoppable Phalanx Champion from the Ransack Ogre encounter. During the Ransack Ogre encounter, an unstoppable Phalanx Champion would spawn in the Ascendant plane when the Ogre boss reached 50% health. That champion was easy to miss and you couldn't backtrack there to defeat it once you killed the Ogre. After this champion ruined hundreds of platinum completion attempts, we've snapped it out of existence. It's gone. Dust. Destroyed. <laughs> I love Dylan. <laughs> it was never to see the light of day again. That's what it deserves. Fixed an issue that blocked completion of the Corrupted Nightfall scoring triumph. Some known issues. We have movies of the week. What do we got? We have Eugene Beloved. Mr. Beloved winning movie of the week. Very nice. Lost Queen. It's a Destiny metal song. We have uh, Accidental Maximum Carnage 18 Second Nova Bomb. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Got to check that out. Let's see. How long is this video? It's a minute. Let's watch it. The 18 Second Nova Bomb. What's happening? He's invading. Uh, Looks like he got a kill. 
He invade. Boom. He's shooting this guy. Boom. Got him. Throwing a grenade out. Okay. Okay. Loading up the shoddy. Someone's pushing him. He's got the Nova bomb. The clock starts. Is he, is he going to get kills from the Nova bomb after? He, he got a... Wow. That's pretty cool. He got the maximum carnage. Wasn't even in the... <laughs> wasn't even in the portal pretty cool pretty cool congratulations on movie of the week and then we have uh, destiny 2 witch queen trailer um we have some artists you can check those artists out on their respective pages uh so good stuff i like the little interview uh we got some uh some needed some welcome nightfall changes and here we go week's almost over is it friday yet no well shoot guess i have to wait a little longer to play more trials the revamp has been going well and it's awesome to see rena renewed excitement around the mode. Looks like tomorrow will feature Redacted as the flawless reward. I got a nice roll the last time it was featured, but I really like to get Redacted and Redacted on it. Oh, why you do this? I hope you're ready to play on Redacted. It was a few different range profiles to tour with, depending on which lane you go for first. Just be sure to play as a team. Blank when you can, but be ready to rotate if needed. What? My descriptors are too vague? A Destiny Pro would be able to guess which map I'm talking about easily. All jokes aside, which map do you think will feature? Add us on Twitter. People who guess it right might get a nice virtual pat on the virtual pack. <laughs> Good luck out there, and may your loot be plentiful. Cheers, DMG. Oh, uh, uh, redact. Yo, so there you go. That's the that's the TWAB for October 7th, 2021. Let me know in the comments what you think about this week's TWAB. Um, also like the video if you like the video and maybe subscribe to the channel. But that's it for me, y'all. Until next time, peace out.